Hello everyone, welcome to our Friday program. How is everyone today? Hope y'all are doing fantastic and ready for the weekend. I know I am. Um, of course, today is kind of a gloomy day, so it's a good day to be inside. But maybe this weekend will be beautiful and pretty. So, I think it's supposed to be, but we don't ever know the weather. Um, but today, I've got a, a, a little thing you can do inside. Something to do while the weather is kind of nasty and we can't be outside. Just something to try. So, but first, so let's go over our uh, November programs, okay? Um, something just to kind of go by. Um, but first, I want to tell you for next week, um, I will not be live, but I will post. You can come and pick up a Halloween bag. It's a color, uh, it's a make and take. I'll have some activities that you can do inside your bag and some candy. And so, um, but it's a little own little um, Halloween trick or treat bag. A little small Halloween trick or treat bag that you can color. So that is what's for next Friday. So it is a make and take. So you can come by and stop and pick yours up. Um, you can stop and pick them up either on Thursday or I think or Friday is what I'm gonna have them as. So you can stop by and pick yours up then. So um, just give us a call and that way you know for sure when to pick them up. I'm gonna have them I think uh, available on Thursday and so and then all through Friday because I've got several. So. Uh, that is what's for next Friday. So, uh, there will not be no video or anything like that, but I will, um, you can stop by and pick your make and take up. So, keep watch for Facebook, and then that way you know, um, to know when to pick yours up. Now, for November, I got, kind of got tongue tied. I had to get by, I forgot I had another week of October left. Um, but anyway, to November, we have got a few things, uh, about three plan. We only got three because um, the last Friday will be closed because with it being Thanksgiving. So, um, the first Friday we're going to be celebrating National Donut Day. How many of you all love donuts? Me! I love donuts. I love, I can eat them um, like crazy. Um, anyway, we're going to be making salt dough donuts. And so, it's just some kind of activity you can try at home and try to do and decorate them and such. And have them as Christmas ornaments. You know, I've had some people um, I've seen where you can decorate a Christmas tree with donuts. So, there's something for that. The 12th, I know it is a day after, but we're going to go ahead and do it as a Friday program. We're going to be celebrating Veterans Day. Even though Veterans Day is on the 11th, we're going to celebrate it there on the 12th. So, we're going to be making a keepsake. Um, that you can do i can print those out or i can email them to you so you can print them out yourself and then what you can do is we're gonna do like a it's kind of like a handprint and then you give it to maybe if you've got a veteran in your family or you've got a family friend somebody you may go to church with or just anybody maybe just some random if you may find that's a veteran some random um, stranger give it to them and then that show just shows that you appreciate them and so, and then we've got some other else to kind of go along with it. So, um, we're still working out the details a little bit. So, um, that's what that one holds. Um, the 19th, of course, since it's our last Friday for the month, that will be available. We're going to be doing Thanksgiving. Now, it's going to be including doing a gratitude tree, which we will be marbling. We're going to be marbling paint. So, Make sure that day, if you do come, because it is an in-house program, so sign up for that. Um, and then we're going to be doing Thanksgiving bingo for prizes, so keep a watch for that. Um, so that one's going to be like an all-around Thanksgiving um, program. It's going to have a variety of different things to do. So like I said, we'll do bingo maybe for the first half, and then we're going to be doing the gratitude tree, what you're grateful for. And we're going to marble it. We're going to decorate it. So, that's kind of what's got in hold for it. So, um, we've got a lot of things planned. Um, now, if there's any tweens or teens watching, I will have an in-house program for you too as well. So, um, I'm going to try to give it a try and see if um, see how well it goes. We're going to do string pull painting art. Okay? It is very neat. It's beautiful artwork. If you love paint, if you love to paint. You love art, period. Um, I encourage you to come try this. It, it's super, super neat. I love it. Um, it's very pretty, the artwork that you can make doing this. But all it is is a canvas, 
string, paint, that's it. So, and of course your cell. And so it's super, super cool. Um, I think you'll like it. So teens and tweens, that is for you. That is on the 15th and I'm gonna do it at three o'clock, okay? So for the in-house program, teens and tweens on the 15th at three. And then of course that Friday on the 19th at two o'clock will be for just any school age child, it does not matter. And that all of those will be at the community center. Now, for any adults that might be watching, I've got a program for you all too. So that will be, you will have to sign up for. And of course, all of them are sign ups. Um, but we're going to be doing bulb forcing for Christmas blooms. So I've got Miss Kathy Campbell coming um, with Kathy's, uh, Cam with Campbell Campbell's Ranch Farm. And so she's going to be coming and doing that for us. So, I've got programs for all ages, and we got book clubs too, so do not forget those. Um, so, we've got programs for all ages. So, I encourage you all. We've got Story Hour on Tuesdays from zero to five, or from two to five year olds, and then Lap Sit on Thursdays from zero to two. So, programs for all ages. And so, if you have any questions, you let me know. Um, I won't get into December. I brought my calendar. We've got all sorts of things for December. I've got a lot of make and takes. And so, and then I got an in-house program. Um, there'll be ornaments made and all sorts of things. So Christmas, we're gonna be making all sorts of things in December, so, for Christmas. So I won't get into that, because I know it's still kind of a month away, well, a little over a month away, so. Anyway, back to what we were gonna do. We're gonna be doing leaf printing on rocks, okay? I seen this and I thought it was beautiful because you can do anything with this. Go find any kind of leaf. Go find multiple leaves. That's what you, multiple different kind of leaves, okay? So, I know I'm probably talking fast. So, if I'm talking fast, please let me know. Um, I get excited and I talk really, really fast. Anyway, what we're going to do is you get your rock, get you a leaf, and right there, you've got leaf printing. No, I'm kidding. Um... I got the idea of this uh, earlier from a co-worker, and I thought, well, I'm going to try this during my program. So, anyway, no. What we're doing first is it, all you got to do is have your rock. It doesn't have to be this size. This is just one I had that I've done painted on. Get you some leaves. Now, for the smaller rocks, yeah, you want smaller leaves. Now, for the bigger rocks, you could go with the bigger leaves if you want to. I've just got a different variety. Now, what you'll want is you'll want a dark color and a light color. I've got a very dark purple, and I've got this very light color teal. And so, well, it's kind of light, but it's kind of dark. So, you want that variation, okay? You don't want two dark colors. So, you want a light color and a dark color. Now, what you'll want to do is first, and I'm going to try here do first. I'm going to go ahead and um, paint my rock the color. I'm going to paint it this teal. And so... And if you've got acrylic paint, make sure you're, you've got old clothes on. Because if you get this on your clothes, it will not come out. Um, I still have jeans that has got paint on them. Pink paint from a program that I've done. So, yeah. It did not come out. Um, so, make sure you have old, old clothes. Now, yeah, I've got my good shirt on. But I got this mat. Down too, so and I got it kind of pretty good ways on me, so it's not splattered. But uh, but yeah, just paint your rock really good. And this is something you can do outside. Just collect your go collect your leaves, and then on the thing of that, since we're talking about collecting leaves and going on the hunt, stop by and pick up our month of nature packets. We still have some available for October. Yeah, October's almost gone. But you can always, always, you know, keep going. You still start it. It does not matter. Even though it is late for the month, it does not matter. You can still go back and try it. So, I encourage you to come by and stick, pick up one of those up. I should have November's ready for next week. So, you can stop by and get those. And it's for the whole family. It does not have to be just for one person. One package is for the whole family. There's different activities to do in it. Um, you can go online and watch the videos that I've got with it. Um, it's very, very neat. Um, it's very, it turned out to be a very good program. We've had it all year long. Um, of course, next month will be the last for this year. And so, it's turned out to be a wonderful, wonderful program. We've heard many good things about it. 
So it just helps you get outside and enjoy nature instead of being stuck inside on, of course, our little tablets. So something good to do. I know it's getting kind of getting cold right now, but we can always bundle up and keep going. So, so that is for that. So that made me think of that. Now I have got my rock painted this pretty, pretty teal color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna head, let me get this leaf up, and paint my leaf. Let me get this out of the way. That way it's kind of dry. Let me just stick it right here. Now I've got my purple here and I'm gonna color, my leaves kind of crumbled, the back side of your leaf, okay? Or you can do the front either way and you're just gonna paint your leaf as you can see, just like that, okay? Just cover your leaf. This is where you'll probably want like a newspaper down that way. It doesn't matter if you get off the leaf or not. And just kind of brush it on really good. You want it really kind of thick. Not extremely thick, but enough to cover it all. And that way it'll imprint, okay? So you don't want a whole lot, but you do want a lot, not just enough to do. Okay. Now, I've got my leaf, as you can see, it's this pretty, pretty purple. Now, I'm going to put it right here, and then I'm going to, this is where it's going to get messy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of paper here. Whoops. If you don't want to touch the paint, this will be a way to go. Okay, and then I'm going to press down on this. That way, it just kind of... What you would call stamping in a way. I guess you could like you say you're stamping the leaf on. But you're just printing the leaf on with paint. So. I must not have had much paint. Let me add more paint here. Couldn't get much paint out of this. Uh, I get stuck. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. My paint finger gonna get what uh paint all over it. And it'd probably help too if it's on a smoother surface. <laughs> My finger got paint all over it. Yeah, you really wanna coat it, so get this off of my finger here. See if I can get this out. There's something in there, it doesn't matter if it out. There we go. Now I got some out. All right, now here we go. Now we got it covered. Take this. We're gonna kind of rub it. This paint just don't want to go do well. I think the smoother the rock you've got, the better. Yeah. You can imprint as well the different ends, which I'm gonna try. This rock just don't wanna do well. Hmm. Let's just try here. 
This just ain't working well for me, is it, today? Mine don't have enough veins in it to get it to go. Yeah, I kind of did at the end. Mine looks like a big blob up here, but I got the ends of it down here to work a little bit. So you need a smoother rock. Like one of these did not work very good like I figured I was hoping it would. Um, but um, you just take the end. It did kind of get down here on the bottom a little bit. My leaf is kind of, I got purple fingers all over me. And it did work a little bit down there, so. So, yeah, it a little bit. But anyway, go out and enjoy your leaf printing. Even though my rock, my big leaf did not turn out as well, I got the edges of some of the others. So, but until next time, go out and enjoy that. Go out and enjoy nature. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful week, okay? You all have a wonderful day. We'll see you all next week. Happy Halloween. If I don't see you all, happy Halloween. And we will see you all next time, okay? See you later. Mm-hmm. <laughs>